So this is how to test a Russian dynamo. Um, now Russian dynamos are wired up internally slightly different to British dynamos. Uh, you've got a field terminal and a dynamo terminal, the same as a British dynamo, except they use different symbols, they use Cyrillic letters, and the YAR, that's like a backwards R, it's pronounced YAR, and that's equivalent to our D terminal. And you've got that letter there, which is, a, which is pronounced SH, not that that really matters, but like a E on its back, and that's equivalent to our field terminal. Now, if this is how I'm testing it on the bike, and if this was a British dynamo, you'd put your voltmeter, I've taken all the wires off by the way, there they are there, taped up out of the way. Uh, you put your voltmeter on that, the D terminal and then flash it, flash it across to the field terminal to self-excite the dynamo. However, on Russian dynamos they're regulated between the field terminal and earth. So to give it, to self-excite it, you have to put a little wire on there, that wire there, and then flash it to earth, just flash that to earth while it's running. And you only, you don't want to hardwire it, you just want to be able to touch it onto earth and let go, because what should happen if it's working is the voltage should immediately, if you've got a, say, 1,000, 1,500 revs, the voltage should suddenly jump right up and you don't want to go too far because you're putting all the power from the dynamo through the field, so you only want to do it momentarily. Okay, so this is the voltmeter here, and that's that gauge in the middle we're looking at. So we've got the positive here, and we're going to connect that up to the YAR terminal, or the what would we, we would call the D terminal there. There it is, I don't think that's touching anything. And I'm going to leave that free for now, just tuck that over there. That's jump wire. So now we start the engine. So as you saw, it went right up to about 15 volts, so you only want to do it momentarily. Um, so that's how you test it. But incidentally, um, though we now know this is a good dynamo, um, the problem is it's very difficult to get hold of decent regulators, either old-fashioned mechanical ones or electronic ones. So I'm actually going to take this dynamo off and take it apart and rewire it to the British spec, so you've got to swap the wires over on the field terminal. And then I'm going to use one of these excellent um, electronic regulators, uh, which are fantastic. I've fitted loads of these to old BSAs and Triumphs and whatever. Uh, never had a problem. So, uh, And that can be housed inside the old regulator unit. So that should give it reliable charging. And these can be used for either by 6 or 12. You can convert these to 12 volt just by snipping a little wire and obviously changing your battery and your bulbs and everything. Um, so that's what I intend to do. But that's basically how you test a Russian dynamo.